Hi there. I'm not really sure why I'm doing this right now. A lot of what people put out into the world is very positive. You know, when you look at someone's Instagram feed, just this constant feed of positivity, which is great. People should be positive. I really do believe that. You should try to be a problem solver. You should be as wonderful of a person as you can be. And yet, at the same time, some days, some days just kind of suck. And sometimes it's really hard to know why the day sucks. It's not that you just got dumped or fired or something like that. It's not that. It, you just have these moments of looking at your life and thinking, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> like, what is, what is any of this for? Um... I'm actually not a super emotional person. I'm really not. And I feel like I have so much to be grateful for. I have this incredible relationship with Jack and I love him so much. And I get to make music full time and there are people who listen to my music and it's really incredible. Like I just have so many things, like not even including things like electricity and a refrigerator and really delicious food all of the time. I have so much and yet, there are just these moments of why, why bother? A lot of the time I wonder what the difference is between never feeling satisfied versus always wanting things to be better. I'm always checking myself, like are you unhappy right now because nothing is good enough? Is that the problem? It's, is it just that no matter what, like if Obama knocked on your door and like gave you an award for like best singer songwriter of the entire world ever, like you wouldn't be like, ah, oh, awesome. Or is it just that you feel like you're just, you're just kind of doing this and you really want to be like doing this? I think a lot of it, a lot of the insecurity I feel with regards to my career is because I got so much so soon when I was so young, the way that Pomplamoose took off. Now things take a lot more work when there are a thousand people on YouTube versus when there are millions of people on YouTube. There's just a very big difference. One of the problems is that I'm regularly comparing my life to what it was before, when Pomplamoose was at its peak. And the other thing I'm comparing my life to uh, is other people. Last night I was kind of a wreck um, and Jack was just telling me, you know, you can't compare your insides to somebody else's outsides. And that is so true, but we, we just do it all the time. Sometimes I, I like to imagine huge celebrities like Beyonce. In fact, I had a dream about Beyonce the other night and I was just talking with her and her, this is creepy now. She was kind of sad and she was disappointed and I remember thinking, huh, Beyonce feels a lot of what I feel because it was all happening in my stupid head. I still like to think that, that that's kind of how it is, that everybody looks at their life, that whether you're a Fitzgerald uh, or a um, person who tries to write, you always feel that struggle of what am I doing and why. So that's it. I just wanted to uh, share that I feel that. There's no like on the bright side. Um, I guess the, the only real lesson is just, just don't compare your insides to other people's outsides because it's just not true. You don't know. You don't know what people are feeling. Okay, I hope you, you have a good day. Bye.